NET, the National Educational Television Network. <coughs> Sorry. It's very dry in here. This is the Lenovo Jedi Challenges. They just released a new one. This thing's been out for like two and a half months and it's already obsolete. But they did just a specific special edition with it for uh, this Jedi Challenges game. So cool. You have to download the Jedi Challenges app. App Store. Things this comes with. It comes with this knockoff HoloLens concept. A HoloLens is made by Microsoft. It shoots lasers into your eyes, sort of. But this one just reflects your phone screen. Here's the tray that your phone's gonna go in. Okay. Uh, it comes with this glowing reference thing. It's like a, a glowing beacon. It's a beacon, <laughs> goes on your floor, and it tells this uh, where you are in the room. And uh, of course it comes with a lightsaber. <laughs> Put it in. You take this whole thing, you slide it into here. Put it on? Yeah. Oh. The gameplay is pretty good. It's, it's not bad. So we've done a, a VR headset. Um, this time we're gonna do an AR headset and uh, we're gonna figure out how this bad boy works. Let's do it. Yep. Ready, set, montage! I like how I have to, now it looks like I'm moving really fast. <laughs> because everything is Look at this whole thing. So there's a lot of parts in this. You were mentioning the battery. Yep, we got a big old battery. Which we don't know what it does except power the circuit. There's some image processing there. Um, we've got two cameras that the image is processed from. Right. We think this is doing uh, distance triangulation, so we'll talk about that in a second. You have the whole optical setup. Uh, your phone sits here in this cool tray, um, and it bounces through that. Everything's held together with screws and some snaps and a couple bits of stickiness, but it actually is very teardown friendly. You're gonna talk about how this optical system works, yes. and I'm gonna talk about how this optical system works. Let's do it. So let's talk about how this works. The goal of the system is to figure out how far away this is, and so how do we do that? Triangulation. We have three points. This is point number one. Let's make it pink. And then we have our two cameras. Points two and three, which are the cameras. As each of these cameras are looking at the, uh, the image here, they have a slightly different view in the video frame of where that pink dot is located. We also know the distance between the two cameras. I'm gonna call that L. Mm -hmm. So, using trigonometry, <laughs> and knowing the field of view of this camera, we can actually identify what angle exists between these two legs of the triangles, theta one and theta two, based on the position that the image appears in each of the frames. If I know L, which is this length, and also theta one and theta two, I can determine the distance. Why is that important? Then I can line up my virtual video with the real world. Right. And I can know as you're turning and moving. Also really interesting, feel this material. Feel that. What do you notice? Oh wow, it's that is super stiff. Super stiff. This is either zinc or more maybe like, like hardened a, plastic. Yeah, maybe glass-filled nylon. And that's important because for this to work, L1 has to be super accurate and the direction that the two cameras are pointing needs to be super accurate. Um, so the way this is working is uh, your phone sits here, it creates the image, um, and your eyes see through these two lenses, and then also it sees a reflection back. If this was regular VR, your eye would be here, and your phone would be like right here. Because you can't focus that close on something, and because that field of view is weird, you put a converging lens right here. Light bends through this lens and converges on your eye. But you wouldn't be able 
to see the real world. Why? Because you'd have this super strong lens in front oh, of your right. eye. It would all be out of focus. It would all be out of focus. So what these geniuses did here is hmm. they put your phone here mm -hmm. and they put this curved mirror here. Your eye sees out along these blue lines and then on these orange lines, it bounces off of this mirror, it hits back on this mirror and then it converges like that. And so you're focusing mostly on this plane. Yeah. And so the real world and the virtual world come together Merge. and are, are augmented. Next week, we have another Star Wars themed teardown, <coughs> which is droid. going to be the uh, BB-8 little mini Sphero, which was hard for us to get because the first one that was delivered was like stolen from our elevator. This is a BB-9E. It's oh, I'm the sorry. evil one. It specializes in keeping starships and machinery fully operational with its many features. That well, this is fun. It's yeah. a lot of pieces. I'm going to try and reassemble this thing. Fun. See ya. See ya. See ya.